Hello, today I'm going to show you how to use the knife tool. First, you will need some kind of shape. You can use any of these preset shapes from here, or you can draw your own. I'm going to use a shape of a heart I've created before. Now, we will need the knife tool. Don't mistake the slice tool for the knife tool. The knife tool looks like this, and it's hidden under the eraser tool. Click on the eraser tool, hold, and you can see the knife tool at the bottom. Let's separate this window from the rest. To use the knife tool, first you need to select the object with the direct selection tool, then select the knife tool, and now you are ready to make the first cut. To do that, click away from the object, hold, and while moving your mouse, draw a cut line. You cannot change the path of the cut after it's already there. If you are not happy with it, press Ctrl Z to undo it and make a new cut. And we've got two separate shapes. If you want to make any changes to either of these parts, first go to the Direct Selection tool, now click anywhere on the artboard to deselect it, and then click on the part that you want to modify. When I go to the Layers panel and open the sublayers, you can see we've got two separate shapes. Let's select the top shape. Now you can change its color, add a gradient to it, or separate it from the other part. Our next shape is a rectangle. This time we'll make a straight cut from one corner to the other. First click on the shape to select it, let's zoom in, and select the knife tool. Now a very important thing, before you do any cutting, press and hold the ALT key on your keyboard. Then click on this anchor point hold and drag the mouse across through the opposite corner. Now release the mouse. And we've got two separate shapes. Let's move on to the next shape. If you add a gradient to your shape before you do any cuts, all your cut pieces will have the same gradient. Let's say I want to make a straight cut and I want it to be parallel to the top edge of my polygon. To do that, first select your shape, then select the knife tool. Now position your mouse somewhere here, but don't click yet. First press and hold the ALT key, and now click, hold and drag. While you are dragging your mouse, press and hold the SHIFT key as well. Now you can get a straight parallel line, 45 degree line, or straight vertical line. Let's make a 45 degree cut line, and one more 45 degree cut line. If you open the sublayers, you can see we've got five separate shapes. Now, if you like, you can change the direction of a gradient for any of these parts to get a different effect. Just play with it. Next, we will create a broken heart effect. Let's zoom in on this heart. and select it. Now, starting at this anchor point, we'll make several straight cuts. To do that, first select the knife tool. Now, holding down the ALT key, click on this anchor point, hold, and drag to make a short cut line. And release the mouse. Still holding the ALT key, click above the first cut, hold, and drag this way to make a second cut, then release the mouse. 
and let's make a few more cuts. When you get to the last cut, make sure your cut line will cross the bottom anchor point. Next, we want to leave only one cut through the middle and get rid of all the little unwanted cuts. To do that, select everything with the selection tool. Now go to the Shape Builder tool and click on this side to get rid of the little cut lines. And do the same with the other side. Now deselect it. Click on this part and if you like you can add a gradient to it and separate it. Next I will show you how you can use the knife tool on text. If you type your text and use the knife tool to make a cut, Illustrator won't let you do it. However, there is a way to do it. First select your text, then go to Object and select Expand. Now every character is converted to a shape and you can cut through it as you would with any other shape. First select the knife tool, then click and while moving your mouse make a freehand cut line. Now go to the direct selection tool and click on the artboard to deselect. Next, using the Direct Selection tool, click on the top part of the first character to select it. Then, holding down the Shift key, click on the other characters to select all of them. And finally, you can add a gradient. I hope this was helpful. Please don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching. Bye bye!